This is a very 21st century story. Somebody posted on Facebook something that they found on StumbleUpon, which somebody found on YouTube, which appar which apparently was only posted three years ago, and I had no idea about this. I think there, there is a theory, theory of evolution, and, and I, I don't accept it, you know, as a theory. What? Another one? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How, how much more embarrassed can I be about... Texas education. I am so mortified. I cannot believe that there are... Ah! I don't even know what to say. At first I thought it was a very inappropriate question, you know, for, uh, for, the, for the presidency to be decided on a scientific matter. First of all, how is it inappropriate to ask a politician his stance on science and education and all that that implies? I think that's kind of important, especially with the crisis Texas education is in lately, and especially because education is the key to the future, the absolute key to the future. Isn't a world leader's relationship with science just a little bit important? Isn't their understanding of how the world works sort of important? Because science isn't just a body of knowledge. It is a way of thinking. It is a way of gathering information and making calculated, logical, reasonable decisions based on facts, not based on prejudice, and especially not based on ancient beliefs. I, I don't accept it. You know what not accepting the theory of evolution is about? It's about fear, and it's about arrogance. Fear because maybe you're afraid of hell, or maybe you're afraid if you believe in it, this God that's supposed to be all loving isn't going to accept you. Or maybe you're afraid of your voting constituents because they feel that way, so you should probably say in public that you feel the same way they do. It's also about arrogance. It is so arrogant to think that we are not related to other mammals. What is so wrong with being related to other mammals? Why do you have such a high opinion of yourself that you think you're not related? Racism is about the same kind of arrogance. People who think, oh, I can't possibly be related to an African. I can't possibly be related to an Asian. Ooh, they're beneath me. Same thing. Primates aren't beneath you, they're just different. Dolphins aren't beneath you, they're just different, okay? Worms may be beneath you just because you're walking on the ground, but you're still related to them. You're related to invertebrates, you're related to vertebrates, you're related to mammals, you're related to other humans, and by golly, you are related to primates. I think there, there, it's a theory, theory of evolution. It's a theory, it's a theory. I don't want to beleaguer the point, but apparently this isn't making it through to some very important, very influential, even educated people. The word theory in science doesn't mean guess. Hypothesis means guess, and educated guess, by the way. Something that is a theory is... awesome! Theories have to go through an amazing crucible of testing. And anything that can go through 150 plus years of testing and not be knocked down, that's the theory of evolution, by the way, is doing just fine. Gravity is a theory, and cell theory, you know? And, oh, you know, atomic theory, and the theory of evolution. <sighs> I, I don't accept it. Name me a politician that would be willing to stand up and say, I don't accept germ theory. Name me a politician who, be would, who would be willing to say, you know, I don't accept the theory of gravity. That Einstein guy kind of messed with it a little bit, and, uh, you know, I don't think we should accept that. I don't think we should blindly take it on scientific faith that our Earth is going to continue to pull us toward it, and we're not going to fly away. It would be political suicide if a potential candidate stood up and said, you know, I'm just not sure about atomic theory. I personally don't believe in it. And yet somehow it's okay for somebody to say, you know, 
I don't think all animals are related. I don't actually think that they evolved from other life forms. Golly, I think it's silly that people look at other primates and other mammals and other vertebrates and see that humans have anything in common with them. Psh, silly! I cannot wait for the day when saying I don't believe in evolution is political suicide. The creator that, that, that I know... Uh... The creator that you know? The creator you know wouldn't use evolution? How are you so sure? And maybe you've just defined your creator wrong. When I was a Christian, I thought it was awesome that God used evolution. I thought, man, that's a cool God. I find myself just wanting to cry out with what Carl Sagan said. Why don't people look at science and say, the universe is even grander than we thought. Our God, our deity is even more subtle, even more amazing than we thought. Instead of looking at science and saying, oh no, 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 that's not the way it happened. At least I don't believe that's the way it happened. And by golly, it is a mark of my morality and I'm shown to be a good person by the fact that I don't believe this new information. Believe? How about evaluate? How about look at the information and talk to the experts and decide? Or if you can't decide, how about just abstaining from passing a certain judgment until you have more information? I, I, I just don't think we're at the point where anybody has absolute truth, has absolute truth. If we're not at the point where anybody has absolute truth about one proposition or the other, which, by the way, is a false dichotomy, either God or evolution, then why are you choosing one side or the other? The proper, rational response is to say, I abstain from making a choice until there is more information. And by the way, there is plenty of information. All you have to do is look, and you will see it. Where anybody has absolute truth, absolute truth, and who was claiming to have absolute truth anyway? Isn't that people in religion who usually claim to have absolute truth? Whereas the scientists say, hey, look at all of this information we gathered. Look at the patterns this suggests. Here's the most reasonable, logical, simple explanation that doesn't defy any of the known laws we already have. And in fact, it supports them. Created us, each and every one of us, and created the universe and the precise time and manner and uh, and all. Ron Paul, I am disappointed in you. But more than that, I am really disappointed in how our culture is allowing so many people to go without understanding their world, without having a scientific understanding of it. I'm upset that our culture is allowing teachers to decide, even though they teach science, they're not going to teach evolution. I'm upset that I live in a place where education is politicized and where politicians, as opposed to educators or scientists or researchers or historians, are allowed to make the important decisions about what information percolates to the children. I am disappointed that we are still in a time where it is a source of pride for some politicians and leaders of any stripe to stand up and say they don't believe in a certain scientific understanding. I can't fathom that. I'm embarrassed, but more than that, I'm galvanized to teach even more science to support science teachers, to let political leaders know what I think about their ridiculous assertions and ridiculous beliefs about science. I don't know what to say other than this has got to be a call to action. This is Religious Fiction signing off and calling you to action. So is the bird outside. Hope you can hear it. Reasonable. Ah!
It's also burp. I have heard kids, youth, say, I'm not related to that. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. 